Looking for ways to get a jolt of energy without caffeine? Nutritionist Alyssa Bowman joins us with some healthy substitutes for your morning latte. Good morning, Alyssa. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So, uh, full disclosure, I had an incident in university all nighter studying. I drank coffee ever since I'm very sensitive, so I don't drink coffee. Oh, okay. So, this is interesting so this to me is... because it's an alternative. So, what's your morning routine then? Tea. Tea. Tea, Excellent. yeah. Excellent. Yeah, there's a ton of different um, varieties for coffee alternatives. Some of them have caffeine, like the matcha latte actually does have caffeine, mm -hmm. but um, it doesn't give you the jitters. And matcha tea actually is a green tea. And instead of just taking it as a tea, you actually are, um, it's the, whole, the whole leaf is ground. So this is loaded with antioxidants. Okay, so there is caffeine in this. There is caffeine in it. This uh, matcha tea is, is really considered a superfood because of the antioxidants that it has. So it's a powder. Yeah. And then you can pour a little bit of this hot water in it. Okay. That's plenty. Okay. And then you can take the whisk and kind of whisk it up into a paste. Yeah, it's kind of a ritual, right? Caffeine mm -hmm. and coffee is all about the ritual, and this is a type of ritual as well. It's like a tea ceremony. Wow. Yeah, and then you pour it into the cup when it has a nice paste just like that. That's a great consistency. And then you can add, um, this is almond milk and some more water, and this is almond milk, and there you have a matcha tea latte. Loaded yeah, with and it's not and heavy, water. Not heavy tasting, right? Um, you might want to flavor it up. So I brought okay. some different flavors over here with some maple syrup and some, um, some cinnamon. But um, it is a great alternative, and it doesn't give you the jitters either. Okay. And uh, matcha tea is great for the metabolism as okay. well. Okay. The coffee, that's what coffee does. I get the jitters. You get the jitters, the yeah. yeah. A beet lot of people do. Root. This is a really interesting. This is a beetroot latte, and um, this is from a local company called Bloom. It's two women started it um, because they wanted an alternative for a 4 o'clock pick-me-up instead of reaching for another coffee. So they've they got this great line called Bloom, and I thought this one was really interesting. It's beetroot. So this is a freeze-dried beets. Okay. And in it, it's some ginger and some cardamom. And you do the same. You add the powder, just like so, a tablespoon of the powder. Add your hot water or your milk and your milk. Oh, aromatic as well. It's nice, isn't mm. it? So it's like equivalent of, of actually eating an entire beet in this cup. So you're getting your iron, you're getting your vitamin C. So it's a really great alternative for your 4 o'clock, or even if it's your morning coffee. And it has a little bit of a, a sweet taste, and you can, again, Sweeten it up with some maple syrup because maple okay. syrup has magnesium in it. And proportionate wise in terms of almond milk to water? However you like it. Okay. Like that looks lovely. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's a lovely actually color. It smells like roses. And they make a turmeric uh, latte and they also make a, a chili latte as well. Okay. So again, here's our turmeric latte. The golden latte. The golden latte, right? We talked about that last week. And this is, again, really high in um, anti-inflammatories and another antioxidant. So it's interesting because as a coffee alternative, instead of just taking in caffeine, this is actually a chance to take in antioxidants and anti-inflammatories that really help uh, fuel your day and, and not hinder you so much. So you're not going to be getting that caffeine jitter. You mentioned last week when you have turmeric to apply pepper. Do you need pepper here Yes, too? you always need a little bit of just black pepper, pepper in there. Okay. Yes. So I've also brought, um, this is something that I made up. It's called a beautifying hot chocolate. It's raw cacao chaga mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are really popular right now with immunity boosting and again antioxidants and uh, I blend this with a little bit of collagen mm -hmm. and some water and some almond milk and you have this beautiful beautifying hot chocolate and again gives you a bit of a, a kick because it is chocolate but it's raw cacao. Do you want to try it? Sure I'd love to try it and oh. is it compared to coffee like at the store is it relatively inexpensive to well, go? These are Quite actually, you can buy a beetroot latte at oh, Prado wonderful. Cafe. Yeah, okay. Um, and you can, you're starting to see a lot of golden milks at cafes now. This I made up, and it's this the, is a little kick to get yeah, right, right in the, the back of the right? throat. Yeah, the recipe's on my website for that one, and I call that the beautifying hot chocolate. But similar prices, I mean, a latte at uh, your local cafe is four dollars. Yeah, four dollars, five dollars. Yeah, so these would probably be of comp. Okay, so so what kind of chocolate in your website? This is cacao. This Cac is called the Nourish Beautifying Hot Chocolate. Beautifying Hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. You're going to be very glowing. Yeah. yeah. And these, um, this is hemp seed milk. Yeah. Super easy to make, blend it up. And again, a great 4 o'clock alternative because this is 100% uh, plant-based protein. Okay. And I flavor this up with some dates, some cinnamon, and some cayenne. Okay, we've run out of time. Oh, but, uh, you like thank that, Thank you for right? the tea time. Yes. Yeah, I really love this. Thanks, Alyssa. If you want to watch the segment again, you can check out our website, CTV Morning Live. Dot CA.